This is the Symphony Solo 5, and right down to the cast iron door, the steel body is British built, designed and made. They're made by a company called Mac Metalcraft from good old Yorkshire. They've been making and supplying stoves for a very long time in the industry, but this one is all theirs and all British. More sizes will become available, but at the moment there's just the Symphony Solo 5 and a log store option. All the steelwork is made by Thomas Walker in Blackburn, and the cast iron door is by Thomas Dudley, which is the company that makes all of the cast iron drains that you see on the road. What makes them slightly different is ScanTag, which is a new system for stoves that I've not encountered before, but it's essentially like a service book in a car. This will have all the details of your installation, any servicing, any warranty upgrades, or any changes that happen to your stove will all be recorded, which sounds a bit strange for a stove, but I sort of like it as well. Okay, let's light it. So it starts as always with probably your largest log in the base and then slowly getting smaller as you work up. Fire lighter at the top of the stove as well. Okay, on this particular stove, shut the door and pull both the lower and the upper vent out and away you go. Okay, this is well up to temperature now. Uh, when you're burning wood, fully close the lower air vent and the top air vent, we will fully close and just nudge out a touch and we're away. So it runs about 83.9% efficiency, so definitely shouldn't struggle here. We've run it overnight and had it clean in the morning, so that's great. Um, I've made it go, shut it right down, made it go all black and then opened it up. And as you can see here, there's still a bit of haze, but it's cleaned off pretty well. Obviously, it goes without saying that it's DEFRA approved and eco design ready. This stove comes with a pair of gloves, uh, which is great because the handles do get a bit hot. It's a wood only stove, so there's no grate or ash pan, so there's no tool that you need. It does have a really deep burn area, so you don't get the same issues with smoke spilling out the front, which is quite nice. And I really like the main handle design, which as standard has a Union Jack laser cut into it, which is quite cool. But as I understand it, if you have a particular preference, let's say you're from Wales and you want a Welsh Dragon, you can have that laser cut into your handle, which is very, very cool. Um, the handle itself also feels quite nice. Um, when I open the door, I haven't got a big issue of smoke coming out the front. And when I close it, it's got a proper clunk to it, which I quite like. Uh, obviously the main controls, with we've got two of them. So the lower control really is just a boost for lighting the stove. This isn't for burning coal at all, so that's not to be used once the stove's up to temperature. Um, but, you know, the moment it's up to temperature, you close that one off. Um, if we then close the top control, as you can see here, it does do exactly what it's told straight away. The fuel economy on this stove was a little bit variable. We test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and then burning a single net of kiln-dried logs on it to see how long it will maintain operating temperature. Now, uh, obviously that's in our chimney, so results are always going to be variable. But um, when we were first testing it, there wasn't much ash in the base, and this stove isn't quite as heavy as some. Uh, and actually, it sort of ran for about nine, or 11, nine to 11 hours. Once we'd burned it for a few more days and that allowed the ash to build up, that extended to, as you could get it as high as 14 hours if you were being sort of really, really anal with it. Um, 
But um, uh, I think this is well suited to some more serious use if you're that way inclined. Um, but it's, it's not quite as heavy, so it does tend to sort of heat up and cool down a little bit quicker than some. This stove isn't super thick and heavy, and the air controls themselves do look a little bit basic, but it's got a five-year warranty, and the effect of the controls is absolutely undeniable. I like the big glass and the sort of in-keeping aesthetic. These, these stoves are sort of the new kid on the block, so they've got a lot to prove, but this level of quality, when you then look at the price of them, I'm thinking this is a real contender. If you're after a wood burner with a big glass, top level efficiency, really good controllability, then you've got to check out the Symphony Solo 5. I also really like the scan tag feature, which I didn't mention before, that actually it has how-to videos on there. So particularly for an Airbnb or, or somebody who's not used to your stove, they scan it, they've got all the history of the stove, but also how to use it, what the controls do. I think that's just really, really well thought out. Particularly, you know, as I say, Airbnb, holiday lets, anything where you don't want a phone call about a stove, how to use it, this is all just included. If you're a fan of the Symphony Solo 5, there are other videos in the description, uh, other videos linked. There's also a link to the manufacturer's website in the description as well. But the best thing to do is to pop into your local shop and have a look at one.